You might have noticed he only explained one of the two methodologies. So uh, uh, we decided to go on and like two people presenting. Uh, so I'm going to be talking about parliamentary hearing. Uh, first of all, uh, what kind of theme could the method be appropriate or relevant for? Uh, first of all, themes that would require political action. So uh, the, the parliamentary committees would understand that they need more knowledge uh, to be able to uh, go on ahead with these actions, uh, with uh, uh, taking these decisions. So a method that would require uh, political action. Uh, also a method that would be of interest to politicians, you know, that uh, there's no such thing as no bias. So uh, politicians are not interested in everything other stakeholders might be. So uh, that would be a theme that would be of interest uh, to the politicians or demanded from them. So uh, that's how uh, the theme could be gone. Uh, also, when politicians need more knowledge to be able to take those decisions. And that goes a lot with the objective PASIDA as a whole to have more knowledge-based policy making. So, uh, themes in which uh, the the politicians believe they need more knowledge in order to be able to take those actions. And one example, uh, two examples actually, one would be uh, genetically modified organisms or genetically modified foods from Austria and also road pricing in Denmark. Which one is a more broader theme, the other one is really more specific uh, on what concerns themes that would be, that have been chosen uh, for that method. Secondly, what kind of results and impacts could this method deliver? Uh, first of all, reports. Uh, the reports are public uh, uh, on the DBT case in Denmark. Uh, so the first thing that comes out of the, these hearings are public reports on, on, on what has been done. Uh, there's also a consensus that there's mutual understanding and better mutual understanding. Politicians understand the themes a little bit better and also experts have a better understanding of the views that the politicians have concerning that specific theme. And uh, because in the case of Denmark, once again, uh, these parliamentary hearings are open to the public and sometimes up to 200 people could uh, participate in, 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 in taking a look at that. So uh, the public also can have a better understanding of technical issues. And one of the things that uh, it's always, uh, how can I say, uh, the the, the experts, when they, they because they prepare some things for the politicians before the politician hearings, so the politicians could have questions to ask to these experts. It's always asked, asked from them to uh, explain the technical issues and, and questions of the, and issues of the theme in a in a more simpler way, so that uh, people that does, that don't have a lot of of uh, knowledge in that specific area could understand easily. So uh, that helps for. Uh, better understanding of the public on the on the technical issue and of course a uh, political action uh, after uh, the politicians have gathered this knowledge then they can move on and take uh, decisive action go on and do what they have to do with with the knowledge that now they they have and last but not least, the limits of the method. Uh, this would be a limit uh, that both methods have in common would be the selection of participants. Uh, in that case, the selection of the experts uh, that it, they're gonna be giving advice to politicians and also uh, clearing up any doubts or questions that they might have. Uh, some kind of parliamentary resistance on what concerns uh, maybe giving the control of the process to a third party or external organization uh, to organize how the parliamentary hearing is going to be done, or uh, the kind of the way in which uh, experts are going to be writing those reports, so on and so forth. Uh, th th there might be some kind of resistance from the the parliaments in order to be able to hand that control to others outside of the the, the parliament itself, and also that citizen view is not actually taken into account that much. Uh, they can hear what's going on. They can see understand better but their opinions are not actually very relevant on, 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 on that specific method so that would be one of the limits of parliamentary hearing. Uh, anybody from the group would like to say something else about it? Doubts, questions, potential suicide?